So there's two types of calculations in Excel broadly. The, the row by row calculations, which are the ones we've done here. And then there's the aggregations. And an aggregation means where you return one number over an entire column or an entire row. Um, the most commonly used one that almost everyone knows is the sum function. So I want to know a sum of this, which means that I'm actually going to um, select this and click here. And now one way to do it is equal sum and then select the cells you want to sum, but that's quite slow. Another way to do it is to click on the cells you want where the sum is and click the auto sum button or use the shortcut alt equals. I use alt equals all the time. It automatically puts in the parameters of what you might want to sum like that. Although if you do it here, it actually stops where it reaches text um, or errors, and then it stops there. So that's something to be aware of. If you have blanks, then your alt equals is going to stop there. If you have text, if you have blanks, or if you have errors, it will stop. So be careful. Avoid blanks in your data set is what I always encourage. Um, all right. So we're going to do some other aggregations. Um, here we're going to calculate, uh, we'll do this one last, we'll do count a, then we'll do average, then we'll do aggregate. So count a is just equals count a, and how many sales were made? So I can select my sales column, my items ordered column, like this, excluding the total, close my brackets, and then it shows me 20. So there's 20 items that were ordered. Um, and then if I do my average size, sales size, here I can do equals average. Press tab to lock it in, if you ever see it. And you can get an average of all of these things. Close your brackets, enter, and it shows me 2845. Now what's interesting is that if I do equals 2845 times the count, I get 56,892, and if I compare that, that's actually the same number as here, which is my sum. So uh, the way you calculate average is equal sum divided by count, and I've just kind of proved that through this method. All right, next one is aggregate, and aggregate gets interesting because it allows you to um, uh, do a sum or another aggregation but then have um, things that you want to avoid. So I can do equals aggregate, and then you first choose what you want. So in this case, I want sum. Always look at this. Um, it gets less confusing to into which order your inputs go in. The next one is what I want to ignore. So if I would press five, it would ignore hidden rows. If I press six, it ignores error values. If I press, um, if I press three, it actually ignores everything. And then I can do um, the array, which is what I want to sum, the normal thing that I sum up. So then I can select the, uh, the items ordered column, like this. And I can get to there, close my brackets, press enter, and I get 56892. 56892 is now my aggregate. And although that is the same as my sum, where it gets interesting is it, it excludes things like errors and hidden values.